Hello and greetings from Sichuan. I'm now in a village surrounded by very beautiful views and the name of the village is Zhanshan uh, which is located in the Santai County of China's southwest Sichuan province. Well, it is my very first time to be here in this place but for many of my colleagues they've been here four years in a row and the reason that we keep coming back to this county is that we want to keep track of the changes here from the uh, living standards of the residents to the improvements of their livelihoods. During our three-day special coverage on poverty eradication, my colleagues and I spoke with numerous villagers and farmers, local officials, experts, and even a young couple who made a fortune by selling agriculture products through live streaming. Well, it's great to see all the villages in the county and met the goal of eradicating extreme poverty by the end of last year. Well, poverty eradication is a big issue not only concerning the development of China but also worldwide. And that is why we want to take this place as an example to share their stories, and experiences, challenges and solutions with our international viewers from a wide range of perspectives about how China has been able to help over 850 million people out of poverty in the past over four decades. Well, there are two people that I met here that are really, really impressive to me. One is this cute little girl. When I first saw her, I thought she was playing cell phone while writing her homework. But when I walked closer, she was actually sending voicemail of reading pinyin to her teacher. And I thought that's really interesting because it's a little bit like what the kids in big cities are doing, right? Well, there's another old man that I met. We visited his home, and then we found an electronic keyboard in one of the rooms with numbers on the keyboard. So it's like one stands for do, two stands for we, and three stands for me. You know, you can guess the rest. And I thought it belongs to his grandkids. And I asked him, and he's like, oh, no, 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 that's mine, that's my piano. And he even played a little bit for us. Well, you can tell he's obviously a little bit nervous because it might be his first time playing to strangers without any preparation. But I don't know why. I was just so deeply touched by those music. And then I asked him that, why do you want to learn? And he said, because I like the sound of the instrument. And then I asked him, where did you learn it from? And he said, I learned it from the videos from Douyin. So Douyin is like one of China's leading short video sharing platform. It made me realize that poverty eradication isn't just about making sure people have enough to eat, have an annual income at a minimum of 4,000 yuan, or renovating homes and roads in mountainous areas. It was also about giving children better access to education, allowing farmers to gain higher spiritual fulfillment in order to ensure well-rounded and sustainable development. We are now at the very final phase of meeting the goal. The last mile is by no means an easy task, but with a very strong determination, the joint efforts and also the effective measures just like what we saw here in the Santai County and numerous places across China, we are hopeful that we will get there.